Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we're going to talk about a situation when you want to edit your PDF and you can do it with Adobe PDF Reader as well. If you see the latest version, here you will find option of drawing it. The problem with Adobe Reader is whenever we make some changes to a file, every time we need to save it as a new file and then we need to replace it. So how we can avoid such situation or easily annotate our PDF. In this video, we're going to talk about one such software which is known as PDF Annotate. And don't worry guys, I'm gonna let you know from where you can install it. But before that, let me quickly show you a demo of it. For that, I'm gonna open the same file, but this time not with Adobe Reader, but with Drawboard PDF. So now let me click it and since I'm opening it for the first time, it is asking me to create an account. Let me click on login with account and then here I can use my Google ID. Let me click here on sign in with Google and then I'm going to put my Google credential. And in this way, we can create account using Google ID. Just you need to verify. So let me quickly verify my account. And after verifying our account, we are good to go. So now I can click here on login and then again, let me click on sign in with Google and then we can choose our account. And in this way, guys, we can sign up here. You can tell about yourself. I'm going to keep it other. And then here I can type as student or you want to type something else. You can do that as well. Now, this is the way how this PDF get opened up in drawboard pdf and i would say the ui almost look similar to that of adobe reader and if i see here on the left i can see all my pages i can also see grid view if let's say you want to go to a specific folder that we can also see that and then here on the bottom right corner you can increase or decrease the size of these pages now on the top left we can go back and in similar way here we will see ton of options available there so the current version is a free version the premium version comes with advanced functionality but i would say the free version have enough functionality to get started so here on the right hand side we can see the annotation toolbar where the first option is of pan the second option is of select then we have this text box that let us you know type any text here and then um, we have got this highlighter option which enable us to highlight text or content inside the pdf we also have got this line feature that help us to draw line inside pdf and then here we can see we can further customize our line based on our need now the next tool here is again of signature that help us to create our signature let's keep it as it is and then plus button here shows the remaining tool inside this software so based on your need you can add any of these tools to the bar such that you can easily access it my favorite obviously is pen as pen is not available here so now we have added it and now i can actually use the pen to make any changes and just like adobe reader the software can easily handle pdf that may be of hundreds of page length and the good thing about this software as i said before that we can simply click on save and you do not need to keep replacing files again and again and then here we also can see one such example where this tool is being used and here we can see some of very decent example the way the annotation tools are being used to talk about the different different parts of this insect now coming to the download part so this software is actually available inside Microsoft microsoft store so for that simply press menu button and then go to microsoft store now here i'm gonna type draw board pdf and there we go but still i'm gonna go with the search toolbar so that we can actually find it here and here we have it you can also see this app has 3000 plus ratings with an average rating of 4.1 and believe me guys inside microsoft store it is very hard to achieve and maintain good rating and the software have done that which means that the software is really very capable one and then you can also see the screenshot which also talk about more such example the way you can utilize this software and then this application is free 
although we have paid version but the free version also offer decent functionality as we just saw that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such content and i will catch you soon in my next video till then you take care and bye bye